closed Howdy. the pneumonia hole. Howdy. Howdy. What did you do, Richard? I made a new shirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Checkered cute. flag. Want to see the front? Nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. And we restocked all the Caddy Jack stuff, the Crow Judge stuff. Yeah. Nice. We got new keychains, the ones that you've stolen 60% of. I love those keychains. Clearly. I love the glow in the dark keychains. I love uh, illuminating things with past tense light. Mm. Uh, so now stop avoiding the question. What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do to your Escalade? Oh, man. <laughs> I think it's <laughs> had a breath away. What did you do? Well, it all started with the neglected oil changes. The running in and out of oil. Yeah. The oil pump running yeah. out one time. Yeah. Well, not running out, but like it shut off in the middle of the highway at like 85 mile an hour that one time. Yeah. All of those things could do it. Obviously. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I don't drive that thing. You drive that thing. Yes, you do. No, I don't drive that thing. I can count on one hand how many times I've driven it in the last two years, mm. three years. Mm -hmm. I mean, because my license is suspended doesn't mean that, you know. Anywho. So, a few weeks ago, I was driving in the shop, right? Right. In the Escalade. Right. 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 And, and it wasn't knocking. It's still not knocking. Okay. Two miles from here, um, it started ticking really bad. <laughs> so I was like, mm. So I got here and I just stopped driving it because we were in the middle of the saga of testing your car. So we just parked it. And I can blame this on me. Hi. 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 What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He said, what's going on? <laughs> so uh, we parked. The truck. Yep. <laughs> we parked the truck a few weeks ago, and we decided that when we had some time, if we got some crap weather, that we would address it then. And yep. It's that time. Now is then. It's three degrees outside, and it's time to work on the Escalade. <laughs> Quick recap. What is it? What year is it? It's a 2016 Cadillac Escalade. Uh, for other reference, it's a 6.2. Uh, L86. This is big boots. <laughs> I was more specifically referring to the Cadillac. Yeah, this the is a tuxedo the, cat. He doesn't have a knock He got control. his voice from me. You can tell who's raised him. He goes, my. He's a real feral cat, ain't he? Look at him. Vicious. Yeah. Viciously feral. All right, well, boots, let's get this thing ripped apart, huh? What do you think? Sell these t shirts, boots. What do you think about what do you think what do you think about the new shirts, Boots? Say please buy a shirt. It supports us feral kitties. What do you think about the new shirt, Boots? Uh, say somebody's gotta buy the cat food around this rig. ECU sees light throttle or low load. Right. Basically, you're not going up a hill, you're not towing anything, and you're not trying to pass somebody, and you're at a step what they call steady state of cruise and stuff. It's like, hey, she don't need all 400 horse ponies. It cuts this, you know, cuts down to four cylinders basically. Displacement on demand. And what is the VVT? VVT is variable valve timing. Which valve, is the cam moving. Variable valve timing. So. Yeah, basically when we degree a camshaft on a race motor, we say we're going to install it eight degrees advanced or well, probably not, but eight degrees are targeted. Degrees of yeah. <laughs> well, would you do that to change the power band so you can take the same camshaft and make higher RPM horsepower or make a lower RPM torque? Well, the factory has figured out a way to put it on a variable valve like a well, GM did. I'm sure somebody figured it out a million years ago, but 
Amish people probably had it on horses, but oh, yeah. now they're using them on Escalades. So as it's going down the road, it'll say, hey, this lady doesn't need higher RPM horsepower, and it'll change the cam timing as you're driving down the road. Mm -hmm. Pretty fancy. Technology. At its finest. Yes. But the problem is all these systems are electronic over hydraulic over mechanical basically highfalutin technological devices here to say hey you do this and then the old pump has to say oh great now i gotta run all this crap too not mm -hmm. enough that i'm running you know this seventy eight thousand pound vehicle down the road yeah so anyway it, it, you know it's just a a thing that happens and around a hundred thousand miles these deals tend to shit the bed which we are past 100,000 miles by about 16,000. Yeah. On top of, uh, we're just going to admit that we, we were, aren't great at maintenancing this deal. No, And this deal. it's had oil pump problems. When we're racing, the race cars get the maintenance. The mm -hmm. tow rig gets the maintenance. And everything else gets neglected. Everything else. Yeah. Literally everything. Mm -hmm. Tools, shop, cars, emotions. <laughs> <laughs> everything okay, so, so uh so this just got awkward <laughs> so uh yeah we uh you know we didn't you know we just don't do it we don't do it what we're supposed to but when we make those decisions it's like hey would we rather work on the race car or later on we'll work on the tow rig it's or, not even really a choice it's though. like there's a race tomorrow yeah we didn't have so, so we're gonna push off this oil change and then we get back and we forgot about it and then we realize though hey you know, if it breaks, we'll fix it. And that's what we're doing. So tell everybody uh, what you did without filming it. Yeah. So, you're, you know, you know me. Yeah. You just. The genius the that I am. are gone for you. I'm like, she's like, hey, we're doing the, <laughs> What are we doing today? And I said, We agreed do, that we were doing this. I and said, then, we're going to do the S page. I thought. She said, yes, that's what we're doing. I was like, sweet. See, I knew what we were doing. Yes. And I was like, I'm going to get that Escalade in here while she's gone. And I'm going to diagnose it real quick so that I look smarter on camera. So, cut the oil filter open. Expecting to find gold rush, you know. Expecting to be old prospector in there. Because the yeah. Yeah. it sounds like a rod. I just think no, it sounds it like a rod. Like, whatever. So, but oil filter didn't have any trash in it. So, now, you know, we're back to DOD lifter issue probably is what we were thinking. It's In my head, it's first, I'm just going to jerk the valve covers real quick. Yeah, that's how it goes. Because, you know. You love car. to take a valve cover a, off. I do love to take a valve it's cover annoying. off. It's annoying. Every take, time I start my car, I'm like, why is it smoking? And you're like, oh, man, I had the valve covers off. Probably leaked oil all over it, your head. To me, it's just, let's, hey, get, rip, let's get a valve cover off that deal. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, well, you know, I take the oil filter. Nothing was in there. And I was like, you know what? Let's get a valve cover off this rig real oh, quick. Oh, my goodness. And so I got the valve cover off. And uh, I was expecting it to be on the driver's side. Cause you know i'm really good with directional hearing yeah really, like a dog like every time i'm like what is that and i turn to the left he goes no 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 it's to the right <laughs> and i'm always wrong mm -hmm. but so i figured it was on the driver's side so pull the valve cover off all the rockers seem okay but i'm like you know maybe it's a bit push rod yeah because i mean we were youtube in this last night and somebody said it was broken push rod so we were just gonna buy a push rod well and so there's another thing when you when you disable the dod in the tune-up but you don't do it mechanically which is the way we did it because because we're lazy because we have laptop fingers yeah, and not do. wrench hands so yeah you do uh <laughs> so we disabled the dod in the tune-up and i was like done fixed cured never have to worry about that again when we were researching it it said that sometimes when you disable it in the tune-up some people have experienced uh, that it'll bend a push rod every once in a while. <laughs> just mild symptoms. I should have looked that up before. <laughs> probably before I did it, I should have looked that up because, you know, that might be something I would think about. I would be like, if they said that, I'd be like, I'd rather just take a lifter out than, you know, to be driving rod. down the road and get a push rod. Because of me, at least if a DOD lifter goes out, I can blame GM. Mm. If a push rod bends, it's because I did it in the tune up. So. Mm -hmm. Well, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to jerk a valve. Let's get a valve cover off this rig. Right? <laughs> Damn, no valve covers on anything and then that's there was getting no, diagnosed. All the rockers here. were good. And I was like, well, all right. I'm going to take the DOD rockers off. Which is one, seven, four, four and six. Four and six, right? Nice job. Yeah. Nice job. I'm going to get those off. But I was just on the driver's side still. So I'm going to get those one and seven off real quick. 
just popped just them out of there. Blacked out and started taking the legs off. <laughs> and then none of those push rods were bent, and I was like, you know what? I bet it was my weird uh, directional hearing issues that I was born with. So I went to the passenger side and I said, "Let's get this valve cover over here. Let's get it." Um, <laughs> there can't be any valve covers. We got to get some valve covers out. <laughs> Look, these tables, these flat surfaces need some valve covers on them. So, yeah. so I got that valve cover off, and what do you know? All those rockers were good. And I was like, "Well, let's get these push rods out of this rig." And so I did that. And now here mm -hmm. we are. You came back after feeding the dogs, and there's no valve covers on. And there's no valve covers. So what'd you find? Nothing. Not a fucking thing. Everything looks great. <laughs> yeah. Don't lie. It, nothing in there looks Other than great. the knocking, the nothing knocking. wrong with it. What is the purpose of taking the DOD ones off? Explain that for Well, because if friends. the DOD lifter failed, closed or whatever, then it would, it would have a whole lot of lash. So all the rockers would be good, except for that one would just be over here like this. And nothing be happening. Because the not, lifter's not riding yeah. on the camshaft anymore. It's not rocking. The rocker's not rocking, lifter's not lifting. No. Cam's not camming. No. Bob's your uncle, so. In that case, then you would know which head to pull off. And and in the past, when I have done this procedure, it was, hey, there's the one. It's not even moving. Jerk that head off, shove a lifter in there, put the head back on it, and it's good to go. The weirdest part is, I feel like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with cam or lifters, so. But you're just, so just that, a Debbie Downer and you always want it to be bottom side. But just so that we'll be sure, we're going to get the rest of the rockers out of this rig. We're going to get some heads off. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to get some cylinder heads off something. No. And the only thing in here that needs the helmet cylinder heads off of it is that one right there. Yeah, please don't touch them on my race car. Everything else, that's the weird thing about us. This is the first time ever. Stop. First time ever. Everything is hauling ass. So we think. Um, yeah, I mean, true. But I mean, so the first step right now is we got to put the valve covers back on. Why? To take all the intake shit off. And oh, not yeah, drop you don't want to get dirt and all that. You don't want, yeah. I feel we like, don't want to muck up the place. We don't want to muck it all up. <laughs> is that some, what'd you fall in? Some muck? <laughs> Right. You have no idea what I'm talking about. That movie probably came out before you were born, but I'm for sure. those of you that know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Some crud, some muck, white, white mud. Let's get the heads off this rig. Get some. Let's get some cooling let's on the ground. Put the valve covers back on this deal. Look, it ain't a party till we get some fucking cooling on the ground. Go on, get. All right, let's get some heads off. All right, what do we got here? 1978 uh, Brom Broham Cadillac Deville Broham. What are you doing? Oh, you're putting them back on. Oh, yeah. We don't want to get no dirt in there. So, uh, we're going to be commenting. I'm going to be commenting on these two yahoos taking apart this uh, Cadillac here. Oh, yeah. Good shot. Good shot. We can really see what you're doing there, Tim. Tim, the tool man. <laughs> this is the part where you delicately, delicately attempt to take off the plastic cover on top of the intake manifold, which... Uh, after two hours of delicately trying to do that we looked it up on youtube and those guys that nobody ever shows how they get these off so i'm starting to think it's magic and i'm not a wizard so i only know one way to get something off and that is with 10 snips call me a heat and air guy all you want but that is that is a meathead cutting the fucking intake cover <laughs> off of a 2016 escalade with a set of 10 snips <laughs> You will not see that anywhere else on YouTube, folks. My God. They're still half in the back there just floating around. <laughs> it's just flapping back there. Man. we were, See, these are the things we're supposed to cut out of the videos, Jackie. I know, you know, if you can't put a word into the editor, uh, don't show me working on a 2016 Cadillac Escalade it, with a set of 10 snips. There it goes. Look, there. Got it. See? Just like on TV. Came right out. <laughs> get rid of that we don't need that how much you want to bet none of that shit goes back in here I already threw it away. this motherfucker will be lucky if it don't get a fucking tone around with a couple of braswells <laughs> <laughs> look at the intake ports on that rig and i'm not talking about the car <laughs> taking this is so this is one of them rigs where the fuel injectors are under the manifold here so you gotta there's all these fuel lines that's me pointing to everything showing her what to do I think needs to be done. <laughs> and as she pulls the fucking fuel line off, it literally squirts high pressure fuel right in my facial orifices. I mean, dead center, right down the pipe. 
Uh, so now we got to get the injectors out of the heads because that's where they put injectors nowadays. Not in the intake manifold where it's easy. They put them in the cylinder head now. Uh, so the fuel is only in the in the combustion chamber and it's not in the intake port. So the intake ports look like shit all the time. So uh, we got to get the, in the fuel rails off this diesel. And uh, that's my little toolkit that doesn't work. Uh, I broke the first one, first try. Yeah, buddy. I was mad, boys. I was mad. That was after the 10 snip thing. So you know how mad I was. When I get the 10 snips out on the rig like this, we're pissed off. So got to get the plugs out because that should have been the first thing we did. But some guy likes to take the valve covers off before he does anything. He says, let's cut the oil filter open and take the valve covers off. First thing we're doing, anything comes in the shop. But it just needs a battery. Get the oil filter cut open and get the valve covers off of it. Got to get the plugs out. That takes 14 hours. You got to have flashlights everywhere in your mouth, in your ears. Yep, valve covers coming back off. Let's get them off of there, my favorite part. There comes my favorite part. Let's get the valve covers back off. Man, you better wash you lucky that fucking radiator wasn't hot when you took that cap off just now. It was already off. I I'm just saying. Off. Oh, well, good. That's just dangerous, I heard. Fuck around be looking like one of the Avengers. Stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got them off there. See, so I already had, I already had, I got a head start on this rig, so I had a couple of rockers off of it, so... This is Jackie pulling the rest of the rockers off. Because, you know, once I get the valve covers and rockers off, I don't really want to fuck with it no more. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I just want to find the problem and then go, hey, there's the problem. But she's getting the push rods out, checking them all out, which, you know, ain't none of them bent. This deal's fine. Other than the knock, there ain't nothing wrong with it. If you haven't ever worked on one of these, uh, I would suggest don't do it. Uh, but if you need to, 8 millimeter, get the rockers off of there. Get the push rods out, and uh, because it's a GM product, the heads have to come off to get the lifters out. Pontiac's never had that problem, but whatever. Uh, th for some reason, the heads are under the deck on this, so you got to get the heads off to get the lifters the out. The whole motor's under the windshield, so it's nice. Oh, yeah, it's real nice. Cab forward design. Man, we can't see nothing. Now I know how people at home feel. <laughs> We can't see nothing but your shoulder half the time. Which is a beautiful shoulder, don't get me wrong. Yeah, the push rods are, they look like, I mean, brand new. They look like they just got started. Number Jesus eight. Christ. This ought to be a commercial for changing your oil. So now we're pulling the head bolts out. Um, one of them is a Allen head for some reason. I think I like how they, like how GM just likes to throw that in there. They're just like, hey, oh, there it goes. Look at there. Comedic head gasket. I mean, not comedic. You know what I mean. MLS head gasket from the factory, baby. Uh, yeah. Looks like shit. 415,000 miles, you said? No. Oh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, these direct injected deals are weird. So you got to pull the buckets out, and then there's the lifter buckets or whatever, lifter trays, they call them. Got to get them out, and then you get the lifters out. Get the cylinder heads off. And, you know, this is after being wore out from just pulling the fucking injectors out of the head. And then there it is. She found it. The smoking gun. Number two lifter is wiped smooth out. It looks like there was a fire on the roller of that lifter and put it out with a pitchfork. The oil, it looks like varnish. That oil looks like whatever it was that uh, Jed Crampett or whatever found when he was shooting at that rabbit. You ever seen anybody make a duck call out of a lifter? Here, duck. Here, duck. Come here, duck. Oh, my God. You're such a dad. <laughs> What the hell? Uh, this deal's bad. So the funny part is, it was, that's the last cylinder that I pulled the lifters out of. In second to last cylinder, you were hopeless. You're like, it's in the bottom. It's yeah, in the bottom. Yeah, I was like, ain't no way. It's number two. The easiest one to get to. I should have pulled it first. But you know, it never works out. It's the easiest one. It's always the hardest one to get to. But you checked that rocker and it wasn't. Well, I mean, you ain't going to, a rocker ain't going to tell you that it's, you know, chewed up like a soup sandwich. Now we gotta find us some ports. Mm, we need to shop around on YouTube. Yeah, we need to get us a three quarter race cam. We want the two steps above potato cam. Yeah. Potato, 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 potato. That's, hard potato. We want a rolling potato. We gotta call around, do some shopping. We're gonna get you a big old gnarly camshaft in this rig. I know some guy can probably tune this deal. Hopefully. Hopefully not the same guy that turned it off, man, or not me. Same guy, but he'd give you a good deal. <laughs> he'd give you a good deal, though. 
apologize for his mistakes. We'll give you. Uh, he don't apologize for his mistakes. No. He just makes more. Yeah. Even though he says a lot. But he'll give you a good deal. He's like, I'll promise on my answer. But this it's time. cheap. We're not telling Gerald about this. Oh, no. Nobody tell Gerald. Please don't tell Gerald. Because he will be all ashamed of us like a dad, you know? Yeah. yeah like, y'all still haven't learned about oiling? Gerald yeah. will go. <laughs> What oil are you running in this thing? <laughs> None, really. And I'll say, I'm not. <laughs> Thought that was your job. Yep, we're gonna call and get us some parts. So, but and then you you still gotta get the camshaft out. You gotta take the injectors over to Deech Works, have them clean. First, you gotta log them, write them oh, all down, Jesus. do all that. Take those. And, yeah, you got a lot of work to do. Are you gonna show the lifter? I mean, what you showed them? I cropped it out. You can't see anything anyway. Not with you. Are you gonna, Can what you it, bring uh, it closer to the, the camera? Up. Down. <laughs> Out. <laughs> there, stop. <laughs> Turn the roller, not the... <laughs> they're gonna be like, there ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> well, if there ain't, it's got a rod knock. Yep, so there you go. <laughs>